Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be telling you guys about a kind of new PS Vita app. It's basically like an alternative for auto plugin and it's called Simple Plugin. So it's kind of just like a homebrew app store and it's got loads of plugins on there that you can just install in like one tap. So if you guys want to get this app, all you have to do is just go ahead and start up Vita Shell. Let's go and connect my PS Vita to my PC. So we're just going to press select, go and do that, and then I will show you guys what's to do next. So the link to Easy Plugin will be in the description of this video and you guys can just read a bit about it here. So it's basically like Auto Plugin, but maybe a bit more simple and it's probably got some different plugins on there. Now it also has this kind of strange menu where you can install plugins to certain apps. Um, so yeah, apparently you can do that. So if you guys wanted to get it, all you want to do is scroll down and just click on Download VPK. Once we have got this VPK, go into your Downloads folder and just find where you downloaded it. So mine is here. And all we're going to do is just drag and drop it to the root of our PS Vita. So once it is on there, that is literally it. Let's go back onto our PS Vita, install it, and I will show you guys how to install plugins by using it. So let's go onto the UXO and let's find the simple plugin VPK file. So here it is, I mean easy plugin. So let's just press X and then X again just to start installing it. So it should install very quickly. And then once it has done installing, all we have to do is just go ahead and close out of Vita Shell and let's just look for the app on our home screen. So here it is, easy plugin. Let's go ahead and start this up and let's check it out. So this is pretty much what it looks like. It's a lot more simple than auto plugin. I would say auto plugin is probably better, but this is just like an alternative. It might have some stuff in here that isn't actually available on auto plugin yet. So let's just have a look. I will be installing something, just showing you guys how it works. So we've got several options at the bottom of the screen. We've got details, search, exit, and restart. And um, restart actually restarts your whole PS Vita, not the app. Exit will restart the app or just close it down. We've got search, so we can press triangle and we can like search something. And then of course, we've got details just to access something. So let's have a look at some of the stuff on here. It looks like we've got some fairly decent plugins like Shellbat, stuff like that. I'm going to find something which I don't have and then install it. Maybe like a small plugin which I probably haven't made a video on before. Um, so let's just have a look on here. So this is the plugin that I will probably just install because it's a really basic one. It's a HD screenshot plugin. So if we press details, we can find out some more information about it. So this plugin replaces the JPEG screenshots with PNG screenshots and also with our watermark. I haven't noticed the watermark on the screenshots, but maybe that's just me. So all we have to do is just press X to install it. And then this is where you can install it too. Now, I'm not quite sure why there's apps on here. Apparently, you can install it to apps or something. We're just going to tick on all because I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. And then just press start for install. And then, of course, we will test this out um, to see if it actually works. And then once it's apparently installed, what we're going to do is just press start. And this is going to restart our whole PS Vita. And then we will be able to take a screenshot and see if the plugin actually worked. Okay guys, so once it has restarted, of course I will have to launch um, HNCore again because I have not actually um, put a permanent 3.60 or 3.65 on this yet. And then once that has done, what we can actually do is take a screenshot and let's see if this actually works. So you can take a screenshot of a game or an app. Let's just do it of the home screen. So start button and the home button. Now let's go and start up Vita Shell and hopefully our screenshot will actually be a PNG file. So if we go on to UXO down here, scroll down, we need to go on to picture, then we need to go into screenshot, and we need to press triangle, sort by, sort by date, and it should be this one right here. And there you go guys, it's a PNG file, and is that glitched up or something? I'm not sure, maybe that screenshot's glitched up, I did actually take a few. I have no idea what's going on with that, but there you go, apparently it's a PNG file, I will actually try it out on my computer, and maybe it will be normal, but yeah, it did take a screenshot, and it is a PNG file, so maybe the plugin screwed up, who knows, but um, the application easy plugin seemed to install it anyway. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. It's an okay plugin, I have to admit. Um, auto plugin is a lot better, but maybe there is some alternative stuff on here which um, we haven't actually seen yet or you know haven't really come across. So yeah, that is pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.